How's it guys? Welcome. We're in Betty's and we're waiting for the tide to drop so that we can collect some wonder worm. Now we're gonna use the wonder worm to target steam brass. A lot of people think that you can only target steam brass uh, in the winter but actually you can target them in uh, summer as well and actually I caught my biggest ones in summer. So we're gonna get some wonder worm and um, from here we're gonna move to a different spot. Um, maybe look for a fish in the kelp and then move to the beach and look for a steeny. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. So where to find these worms? Uh, you can just start off by lifting some of these rocks and look for evidence of tunnels in the sand, holes, almost like prawn holes. So this is good evidence where to start. Um, usually it's better when you can find like a solid rock bed like this and try and find a hole somewhere between this. If you can start digging towards that side, um, all that worm should be sitting um, against that rock bed. So you won't be able to escape and uh, it makes it easier to get them. So you just start off by digging a hole and look for those crevices. The worm hides between it and what, what will help you a lot is wherever there is a rock bank, solid bank, where you can grow against or dig against. Against against the drains. I'm not going to get any bigger. <laughs> <laughs> that you can grow against. Grow against. <laughs> you can stay here and grow. <laughs> <laughs> what will you do? <laughs> Plant your feet in the water and you will grow. Like <laughs> like Okay guys, so digging worms can be quite a hot task but very rewarding if you can find some. You're only allowed 10 worms which is actually 10 heads. So that that is a, a head of a wonder worm. But yeah guys, this is brilliant bait. So you're allowed 10 worms, 10 heads per person but um, you're also allowed 250 mil of worms each. So me and Anu we're allowed to fill this, this container of 500 milliliters. So yeah, a lot of guys think, like I said, that uh, Wonder Worm is only for Galyun and Steambrass, but you can actually catch a variety of species with, with these worms. I've caught Cobb, Steambrass, Galyun, Hoti, Wildepad, um, Blacktail, um, Spotties, in almost everything in Betty's Bay you'll be able to catch with these wonder worms so it's a brilliant bite and uh, yeah we're gonna see if we can fill that bucket and then uh, go look for steeny so guys as you can see we dug quite a big hole and um, it's quite a lot of work uh, getting these worms it's not fun but we know um, we, we got the best chance now and it's a lot easier buying white muscle and chokka and pulchard and things like that but we know how valuable this worm is and how good this bait is in this area so we're making the effort and uh, hopefully we get stuck onto some nice fish So yeah, you can fish with these worms fresh just like this, but what we like to do is put a little bit of cool salt in, uh, it just makes them stiff 
makes it easier putting it on the hook and, and the it also kills them and yeah takes off all the slime so when they're fresh it's almost like jelly and uh, the cotton almost cuts through it so it's better to to put on or to give them some salt So what you will need, um, this is my leader coming from my main line. So I'm using 30 pound fluorocarbon. I've got two of these little swivels. Here's my sinker, about a meter long a snoot with another small swivel. So this the swivel from the sinker is going in first. So that's the one that's going to slide up and down. Then you're going to tie your other swivel. Now there's many ways to make this trace. I'm just showing you one and this one is quite effective. So yeah. So now these two hooks I'm going to use. Firstly I'm going to take about a meter snoot of this fluorocarbon. You take your 1 or 2 o bait holder. Wet it, pull it tight. Then you take your Gamogatsu 1O or 2O and you just slide it in like that. So you want it to be somewhere around there. And tie that to your swivel. Right, so this is how it works. Uh, your sinker is sliding straight through your main line and your hook snoot is actually loose so whenever something pulls on your hook snoot it's going to feel no tension with the sinker so it's going to go straight to your rod and it just makes it more sensitive so it helps a lot targeting these fish right so this is the piece of worm i'm going to use nice fresh piece of wonder worm excellent bait for Kalyun, Steenbras, Bellman and a lot of other different species. I'm gonna take my bait holder and thread it here from the back towards the head of that worm. Just pull it through until it comes out at the tip of the worm's head. Right. Right, so now I'm just going to take my cotton, just gently tie that, especially right before that hook, before the eye of the hook. I'll just secure it, just try and make a long bait. So I'm taking my second hook and you can just hook it through once, thread it around, hook it again, thread it around and hook it again and that's it. Now you can throw that for steam brass and uh, you can make it shorter, you can make it thicker, you can use bigger hooks, smaller hooks, um, just depends on your own preference. So the reason I'm using a circle hook at the top and a joke at the bottom, normally the smaller fish come like a Kholyun or a smaller steam brush and they pick your bait 
and they get hooked on this little hook here at the bottom. You can also catch your bigger fish um, on this hook. But normally, when that bigger fish comes, it takes in this whole bait and it gets hooked on the, on the top hook. So I want that hook to be strong and um, especially a circle hook because it's got much better hookups. And uh, I don't know, I've got confidence fighting that fish if it's a bigger fish. So yeah, I hope that helps you guys. So I like surf fishing and rock fishing the same. Both of them requires a skill um, that you develop to get you closer to that fish. I'm looking for a sandbag like that. One that sits out far and rolls in until it gets deeper water and disappears. That for me is a, is a brilliant spot for edible fish. The other thing I look for is washed open holes. And I'm just going to show you here. Um, these rocks wasn't here last week and they're not going to be there next week so it's a washed open hole and that means there's food and there should be some whole units the brass looking for that food <laughs> well guys, there is a Kalyun. Two days after the season closed. So obviously we're gonna throw it back. But uh, there's that circle look and there is that little joke I talked about. <laughs> solid hookup, solid fish, wonder worm for the win. We came to the end of the, of the session. It was actually a long day. We went to dig some wonder worm on low tide. We went to uh, a hot spot and then we took that worm and we tried for a, a steam brush. Still waiting for that steam brush. We got a nice hole here. 
But anyways, um, that's how fishing goes though. So if you enjoyed the video, please uh, subscribe and we'll catch you again next time. Yes!